the toll road visits the site of the first NFL game. Hey everybody, this is Dayton Dave. Road Trip Rich. And we're here at Triangle Park in Dayton, Ohio, and this is the site of the first NFL game between two NFL teams. Okay, on October 3rd of 1920, it's about 100 years ago, the Dayton Triangles took on the Columbus Panhandlers. Now, you're from Columbus. What, what's up with this Panhandler name there, Rich? Well, we, we used to pan a lot over there. Yeah, what I'm thinking is they probably saw some guys with uh, we'll work for food signs and uh, gave them 50 bucks for uh, playing football and they came out here and got their butts beat by the Dayton Triangles 14 to nothing. But in that game, Dayton had a, a secret weapon that we're going to talk about a little bit. As you can see now, the uh, the field is, is a baseball park now. I believe it's called Howe Field. But the secret weapon was uh, Sweet Lou, Lou Parlo. Uh, Parlo was the uh, West Virginia, excuse me, West Virginia, the West Carrollton battering ram. And the secret to his success was right where we're headed here, the Great Miami River. And what uh, Lou would do for training, instead of, you know, the tackling dummies and the tracks and stuff we have nowadays he'd go down by the river dodge roots run trails and uh, throw his shoulder into trees as as tackling dummies pretty pretty badass wouldn't you say there mr rich yeah i would so i don't know if this is that yeah, it's kind of i can't get no uh, yeah i'm no west virginia yeah. Why do I keep saying West Virginia? I'm no West Carrollton battering ram myself. I'm not going down there. But he'd run along here and uh, get his work So on. a little bit about the Dayton Triangles. They started before the NFL season uh, playing local teams in the area. And they were based off of uh, three factories that were owned by Charles Kettering and Edward Deeds, a couple of the bigger industrial minds of Dayton and really the world at the time. And they were real successful at the beginning, but as the 20s went further, the team struggled and were eventually sold to a group from Brooklyn, where they became the Brooklyn Dodgers, changed uh, names a couple other times. And really the only remnants, even though it's not official anymore, is actually the Indianapolis Colts owe some of their heritage to the Dayton Triangles.